So I got to get live to that trading desk. I've got Victor Adair waiting patiently for me here. Hey, Vic, a couple of things that jumped out at me. Obviously, we had a missile attack in Syria, you know, from the U.S. Uh, but here's the thing that really grabbed me was, you know, Paul Ryan, you know, saying that Congress may get not get through those tax cuts. I talked a moment ago with uh, James Thorne about that. I mean, the Trump agenda is what has fueled the market since that November 9th election. And all of a sudden, it might be the market might be worrying at least if any of that's going to go through. Well, I, I really enjoyed that interview with James Thorne. I like him a lot, and I think he hit the nail on the head. You know, for the past several months, the main market psychology the, the, that finds and generates momentum in the market has basically been, is Trump going to be able to get, work with Congress and get things done or not? You know, immediately following Trump's election, going into November, December last year, real strong bull markets in the U.S. dollar, in the stock market, and also in crude oil. Then in uh, December, uh, the U.S. dollar hit a 14-year high and started to tr uh, let's say, come back down again. By the way, we got all the way down to the November levels uh, around about the middle of March or so. And the stock market stayed fairly firm, made some new highs the first of March, but then it set back. Crude oil also set back the first couple of weeks in March. We had a really, really important day as far as the charts are concerned on the 27th of March. That was the Monday following the Friday when it looked like, uh, you know, the Congress was just going to not go ahead with trying to repeal Obamacare. And at that point, I think market psychology was, gee whiz, you know, all these great hopes we had that Trump was going to be able to do big spending on infrastructure, was going to cut taxes and all that, it ain't going to happen. So on that Monday, the markets opened sharply lower and then turned higher as we had like a sea change in market psychology in the U.S. dollar, crude oil, and the stock market. You know, I, I looked at that also, uh, throw back to that Syrian uh, the rocket or missile attack rather on Syria, and it was interesting. The market didn't have a tremendous reaction. Gold was already in an uptrend, so it certainly had a move. Oil, yeah, but it had been in a drown trend, so a little maybe recovery of that, but it was very interesting that the market didn't get derailed by that. Yeah, I think maybe the psychology there would be, okay, is this a one-off, effectively? Okay, you know, fired 60 missiles, but he's not going to start sending thousands of troops over there. Uh, you know, I, again, you know, the market's always trying to make some guesses as to, uh, is this the beginning of something, or is it like a one-off? And I, I was surprised as well. There was very little that came out of the meeting with Trump and uh, Xi, the pr uh, pr president of China, uh, where Trump had kind of set that up earlier in the week by saying this is going to be a difficult meeting. It seemed like it went fairly smoothly. There was a, a few items, you know, this week that the Fed minutes were out. Congressman Ryan, quoting him again, he said, you know, we're, the, it's going to be unlikely or it's going to be tough to get the tax cuts through Congress this year. There was a number of things swirling around, but here's my point. With that low that we made on the 27th of March in crude oil and in stocks, and in the U.S. dollar, that is going to be an important low. If the markets now roll over and take out those lows, I would say look out below. And let me just come back to crude very quickly before we wrap up here. I, I'm sort of salivating at an opportunity uh, to get short that market and you know, looking for a little bounce, as you say, off that low $47. What are you looking for there in the very short term? Uh, I'm going to really, I'm taking a page from Joseph Schachter's playbook. Uh, Joseph is looking for prices to go below 40 bucks. His line would be like this. If the crude oil market trades up above $56 now, he's wrong. If the market turns around now and falls down below $47, he's right in terms of the bearish argument on supply, demand, and inventories. What we're doing, we're taking a pretty cautious position here. We're buying out of the money puts on crude oil out into the summertime what that does is if we're dead wrong we lose what we paid for the puts and that's it if that's how we control our risk if we're right and crude oil does take a good tumble we get really handsomely rewarded for that trade so right now we're cautiously into it if the market starts to roll over some more we're going to add to that position well we'll be here to chronicle it Vic you go out and have a terrific weekend thanks Mike you too